another key skill that we need to learn is asking the right kinds of questions when we're conducting a tailgate meeting. Uh, if all we're doing is, is asking closed-ended kind of questions, and when I say closed-ended, what do I mean? What kinds of questions would be a closed-ended question? Uh, yes, no. Uh, anything that I could uh, respond with a yes or no, anything else? Any, any short response would be a closed-ended question, right? So yes, no, short response, time of day, uh, how, how big is it, how, uh, what color is it? Those are all uh, closed-ended types of questions. Uh, in a tailgate meeting, if I'm asking those kinds of questions, I'm not likely to get the engagement that I want. For instance, I might ask, uh, um, is everyone going to work safely today? What's typically the default response that you'll get with that kind of question? Yeah. You'll, you'll have a nodding head, yep, going to work safely, without really engaging them. They could be doing that on autopilot, uh, and they probably won't remember that point. What if I ask that in a different way? Uh, for instance, Gene, you're going to be laying pipe today. How are you going to do that safely? I'm going to use proper lifting. Use proper lifting techniques. You want to use the proper PPE. Uh, now I'm getting Gene engaged here, right? He's starting to think for himself about what he's going to do to take ownership for his safety. And if I'm able to make that transfer of ownership from, from me to him, suddenly Gene's going to act upon that. So that's my goal here, asking the right questions to engage people. Instead of saying, everyone going to work safely today, I might ask the question, what are you going to do to work safely today? That creates a discussion. What does uh, this accomplish? Well, it gets a discussion going, of course. Uh, it gets engagement from everybody in the meeting. And it might even unveil hidden information that you didn't know about. Uh, if you have somebody who's new on the job and all you're doing is, is asking some closing the questions, you might not pick up the fact that he hasn't been here before. You might not pick up the fact that he's inexperienced. But if we start engaging them with some open-ended questions about what they've done so far in this area or, or what experience they have in this area, that will unveil a lot of hidden information.